from the Queen City of the South, I'm Angel Shreve, and these are the games I had during the final tournament thing. So, I'm up against uh, Gardevoir, Mega Venusaur, most likely. Of course, not Mega Sable Eye. He, he has his, um, not his Chimchar, but his Infernape. And at the back, he has a Luxray and a Sylveon. So he has two, two um, fairy types, major types. Here I brought in Meowstic, the Meowstic spread that I got from uh, Alex Oglaza's team. Uh, he posted it on his website, flabay.bay. So you can have the, you can see the spread there. I brought in this time the correct Gardevoir, my choice scarf modest Gardevoir. And you can see here I have, uh, the very powerful the sire the quack sire which doesn't do much but scare out the luxury and town fame i believe i brought in um mega kangaskhan 2 of this game so i think you can you can see it uh, let's just check yeah uh so i had a mega kangaskhan and i forgot the other thing one that i brought in not that it matters because i didn't bring it anyway but I believe it wasn't Salamence, mainly because mainly because um, I had a lot of fairy problems and Salamence. Um, I could do without Salamence, I'm guessing. But I'm guessing I did bring it. I'm not sure now. Uh, I'll check the video of what I brought. Anyway, maybe if someone's interested, I can post the entire team. Uh, it's not a super good team to be honest, but it's a decent team anyway uh, I am facing a good opponent and I was super afraid of the Sylveon actually super 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 afraid of Sylveon especially with that hyper beam so I was hoping he wouldn't bring it because I had no way of dealing with uh, something that strong so uh, here I lead with Meowstic and Gard Gardevoir uh, Gardevoir being a decent lead and could probably help me knock out the Sylveon. Uh, here, Infernape goes for the Fake Out, not a problem. I just take the Fake Out, where I go for the Thunder Wave on the uh, Infernape because it will come in handy. Uh, I need to slow it down anyway. So, here his Sableye goes for the Taunt, and my my Meowstic is completely useless because it doesn't have an attacking move. Uh, so I had to switch it out. Bring in my Talon Flame uh, in case there would be Will-O-Wisp, and it does scare out the Infernape, very very good turn for me there. Now he brings in his Mega Venusaur, and I don't know why, because I can just easily I could have easily Brave Bird that slot, easily Brave Bird that slot. So, um, interesting, interesting. I can actually. I just switched it in. I'm I'm stupid. So here I I don't know why uh, he didn't switch out because I could have easily Brave Bird again. I was expecting to protect on Mega Venusaur, and you, you will see it's a Mega later on. So I bring I, sh I reveal my Quagsire and I bring back my Meowstic. Um, again, it's a gutsy move because he could have easily Giga Drained my Gardevoir. So here he reveals Mega Venusaur again, uh, the most obvious Mega in the team. Anyway. Uh, goes for the Destiny Bond, and like, oh wow, if I attacked into that, I would have brought down my uh, Gardevoir, not, you know, Gardevoir, Gardevoir would go down. Goes for the Toxic on my Quagsire, and I'm like, oh wow, okay, Quagsire, you ain't doing anything, I guess. Um, you just have to, you, you can't stay in. Uh, Gardevoir, you're having Quick Claw, for, apparently, so interesting item there. I uh, switch out because I know he wouldn't do anything, and I'm I'm confident he wouldn't sleep powder since I do have the safeguard up. Goes for the moon blast though, and uh, hits it on Meowstic. Not a problem. Uh, Meowstic takes that like a boss, but my citrus won't activate because it's still not half HP yet. So leech seed my Meowstic, and now it does. Yeah, now it does. So uh, Meowstic going back up uh, almost. Uh, uh, 75%. Go for the Brave Bird, seeing as the Mega Venusaur hasn't protected yet. So, but, 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 uh, I do, pre I do predict it to protect, but still doesn't protect. So, hmm, Mega Venusaur without protect. Uh, obviously not carrying the Assault Vest since it is Mega Venusaur. So, I do go for the Swagger on my Talonflame because I know it will knock out the Venusaur. 
uh, this leech seed will not matter at all. Again, uh, in case you haven't seen the last video, this is a best of three. So first to two will win the game and will win third place. Since I lost a game in the eliminations, I had to fight for third. So now he brings in his Infernape and again, not a problem as I can always uh, attack. Goes for the Fake Out on Talonflame, good, good move for him there. Uh, I go for the Thunder Wave on the Venusaur, just hoping to paralyze it this turn. In case, you know, I could always reserve my talent flame. I, I don't have much of an issue because I can always sidekick with Gardevoir at the back. So not a big deal for me here. Now um, I am plus two, plus two talent flame in case you forgot with the swagger. So, and I just go for the Bravert and finally, finally, after the pain and suffering that you have brought, you go down, Mega Venusaur. You go down. Seeing as it hasn't protected for like how many turns here. So Talonflame do does uh, faint as expected to be honest. And here I reveal the charm. I was thinking I shouldn't go for a charm because I can um, surprise him next game uh, with my charm because he doesn't know my set yet. But for some reason I just go for a charm. Again, it wasn't necessary. I should have just gone for the safeguard or something else as long as it wasn't swagger. The swagger would be very bad. Um, so yeah, uh, here I go for the Moonblast again. I'm just playing stupid when I could have finished the game with Psychic. Um, so yeah, dum 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 dum. So the game is pretty much won. Won when that Mega Venusaur got knocked out. So. Why did I go for the moon blast though? Why? I could go for the psychic. It's fire and fighting. So smart. So the game game one ends. So let's proceed to game two. And um, this time I do not bring in my Quagsire because it doesn't hasn't really done anything. And because of that, the luxury comes out. And but I do bring in Mega Kangaskhan. So two physical attackers. I do have the mouse stick. And what did I bring? I didn't bring in Bisharp to be honest. I wanted to bring Bisharp, but I didn't. Oops. Okay, I had enough, enough fiddling. Bisharp is Luxray, which is a really good um, decision for him because my Talent Fame can do anything. I brought in my Talent Fame because um, it could again scare out that Infernape, but prove me wrong this turn. I was thinking I would lose because I didn't bring in my Quagsire. Uh, I, do, I do trace the Intimidate and I do manage to Intimidate the Luxray. Uh, you will see later, it does help. It does help to be honest and you, yeah, let's just have it. Uh, goes for the Taunt again on <laughs> my Meowstic. But my Meowstic is faster so I do manage to get the Safeguard up. Goes for the Crunch on my Meowstic and I'm like, oh no. Uh, does take more than half damage so Citrus will activate. Here I make a really stupid, funny play. I was just pushing on my 3DS and didn't realize I stayed in with my mouse stick. So mouse stick will stay in here and be, seeing as it has no attack. Um, what move shall it use when you're taunted and you have no attacking move? So I go over to Moonblast here, um, expecting the Sableye to stay in, and just to be safe. Uh, good switch in, bring in his Mega Venusaur, but I do uh, reduce his special attack. Now it's like no move, just use the struggle. The struggle is real. And again, that was a dumb move for me, uh, staying in with my Meowstic. Uh, I'm not sure what I was thinking there. So it's it's dangerous for me to bring in my uh, Tangascon, but the thing is, he probably won't close combat the Gardevoir slot to be honest, I mean who would close combat that slot? Uh, I switch in these two specifically in their slots um, in case he would go for the close combat. Uh, Steep Powder is not a problem because I do have Safeguard up and yeah, takes out my Kangaskhan, no problem. Uh, go for the Giga Drain on my Town Flame here and again Safeguard is up so I'm not worried about um, Sleep Powders, Toxic, Stun Spore anything like that. So switches out his Infernape. Again, I do scare out the Infernape a lot. And I mean a lot. Uh, good move bringing in his Intimidator, his Luxray. It's really both my Pokemon minus one. And he decides to switch back 
switch out his Mega Venusaur. Again, good play on his part. So here I go for the Mega Evolution, and I believe I go for the Fake Out when I should have gone for the Power Up Punch, which would have made the game faster. But I didn't. I just go for the Fake Out. So, go for the Fake Out on the Luxray. Not a bad choice, to be honest. And again, my both of them are minus one. I go for the Brave Bird on the slot for the Sableye. Able to deal a lot of damage, and of course I'm not staying in. Because I'm gonna get uh, thunderbolted or electrocuted um, this turn, so I have to switch out my talent flame. It's it's really not non-debatable, non-negotiable. Had to switch it out. Bring my mouse as that's father in case it tries to do something. Now here I forgot I had safeguard up, so it's a good thing I had safeguard up. I did uh, mentally count safeguard was still in play, and he forgot uh, safeguard was in play, so. <laughs> That Willow is uh, well, such a horrible turn for him, actually, because he forgot I had Safeguard up. So just in time, because Safeguard is down, and again, per timing couldn't have been more perfect for me. Uh, with me bringing my uh, now sick, I do go for the Safeguard in case he tries to do it again, tries to Willow Wisp. But here goes for the recover, good play, uh, keeping his able eye in play. Okay. Play of words. I do go for for the power up punch this time. I'm smart. I'm not not you know not doing anything stupid by double edging. I, I need to get plus one at the very least, um, even though it's not super effective. So goes for the Giga Drain, get some HP back from my uh, mouse stick, and does get a decent amount of HP. I could have been greedy and gone for the plus one. Plus three now, power up punch to be honest. I could have gone greedy. So here I just go for the swagger, because I can just get plus two that way and get plus three right away without power up punching. And I can just attack anything, whatever I want. So, um, smart move on my part. Again, I forgot I had swagger, but I remembered I had swagger. So I do manage to knock out the Mega Venusaur. I'm guessing it's more especially defensive than defensive, seeing as how that did too much. Goes for the knockoff on my Mastic, knocking it out. Not an issue. Uh, he can always recover or what. My, my, my Mega Kangaskhan is not doing anything, to be honest. I bring him a Talon Flame, um, expecting his Infernape to come in. At first, I don't know why. I went for the quick card when I could have just done something more str stronger. It was such a waste of turn. <laughs> such a waste of a turn. I just go for a double edge on the uh, Infernape. Um, Probably I was afraid of the Mach Punch, to be honest. So Mega Kangaskhan takes a lot of damage back, goes for the knockoff on my Town Flame. Uh, removing actually my Life Orb. Uh, not, it's kind of bad because I can't do too much now with Brave Bird. And I don't know why. Okay, let's just see the battle. You could have just recovered, recovered, and recovered, but again, I had Gardevoir in the back. So. He went for the knockoff. Knockoff. Oh, uh, he could have Willow with me to death, to be honest. So that was that was a good game. So I won 2-0, and seeing as this is the best of three, I finally won my third place award. Although I didn't get the certificate until now, it's been a few weeks since then. Yep. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. Um, Thanks uh, to Alex Oglosa's videos and his channel. Really helped in the tournament and re I really learned a lot. Although this tournament wasn't VGC exactly, uh, I did meet a lot of new people. I did learn a lot to be honest. And seeing as it's my first tourney, it went as... But, wow, I'm... I need to stop playing, or playing around with the keys. It went as good as it could have been, to be honest. It was the best that I could have done on my first tournament. So, again, thank you, Alex, for the tips and the Twitter replies and everything. Um, thank you to Cybertron Zhang, Aaron Zhang's video. Also, Milk Tank, actually, that gave me the idea, but since he, he didn't um get, show like spreads although Alice didn't show some spreads I, uh, I had to refer more on Alice's side for some bit some tips on the Pokemon that he used 
actually it's the the team the first team with the uh mill tank which i'll show you um this team uh you can see at the bottom you have mill tank Talonflame, Salamence, Kangas Khan, Guard of War, and Rotom Heat. Um, more or less, I derive the team from his team. If you have, if you see his uh, Pokemon Spotlight video, you can see it's kind of the same. To be honest, R close. Uh, I had I switched out some Pokemon, like I brought in Talonflame because I needed something to get rid of uh, Mega Kangas Khan fighting type in general. Uh, Gardevoir was not going to cut it, so I had to bring in more offensive power. And for the Meowstic team, again, still Alex Ogloza's uh, video where he used Quagsire and Meowstic. I, I just decided to use Meowstic because his Meowstic it rolled to top 10 was really good, so really envied his Meowstic. So I had to use it. Um, I didn't bring in Bisharp though. Um, not sure what I brought to the to the final turn. I could I could check. Seeing as that we're not really doing anything, so let's let's check real quick. Let's see. Um, I've been wonder trading for some uh, points and stuff. So let's see. Uh, nope. Nope. Uh, no, I did not bring in Dragonite. It's an old Dragonite. Lucario. Snorlax. Nope, I didn't bring in my shiny one, my old one. Let's see. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I must have brought Salamence. I must have brought Salamence, because I don't see anything else that I could have brought uh, in the team thing. So anyway guys, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and see ya! Sub Oops, like if you like the video, subscribe to show your support to the channel and see ya in the next video. Bye bye